Hi students, welcome to week one of our reading practice for the summer distance English semester. Um, this reading is for the afternoon class, which means this is a slightly lower difficulty level. Um, if you have your distance English packet, follow along with your paper at home while I am reading. Listen closely to my pronunciation for any new vocabulary. Pause the video replay to hear new vocabulary again. If you are not part of my distance English class, no problem. Follow along with the text on the video. Write down any new vocabulary in your notebook. And remember to always put that new vocabulary into a sentence, into context, to practice it. Another thing that you can do for practicing your pronunciation, new vocabulary, listen to my pronunciation, record yourself on your cell phone, your mobile device, listen to your pronunciation, listen to mine, how are they similar or different, and make that small self-analysis. All right, let's jump right into this reading. I think you're going to love it. This story is called Many People Are Doing Good to Combat the Fear and Isolation of the Coronavirus. This is an article that was published in the Washington Post on April 2nd, 2020. Jody Better is 69 years old. She lives in Mount Rainier, Maryland. Better has been having cello concerts on her porch every day. Her neighbors watch her from the sidewalk. They needed music. Better needed music too. There are thousands of Americans like Better. They hope acts of kindness will help people feel less lonely. Many people feel lonely because of the novel coronavirus. The virus has killed thousands of people. Coronavirus is a flu-like illness. It began in China. It has been spreading across the globe since December 2019. Health officials have been encouraging social distancing. This means staying home and staying away from other people. This will help slow the spread of the virus. Many companies are telling employees to work from home. Teachers organize car parades. Many schools have closed. Teachers are organizing car parades to see their students. Stephanie Batchelor is a teacher in Maryland. She said seeing her students wave from their homes helped cheer her up. People like Elizabeth D'Antonio are sewing medical masks. Masks help protect doctors and nurses from the virus. However, many hospitals do not have enough masks. D'Antonio and her friends made hundreds of masks for the Anne Arundel Medical Center. D'Antonio says it felt good to help. Shyla A. Mirgain studies human behavior. Mirgain says humans usually have a fight or flight response to stressful situations. We fight the situation or we run away. Mirgain says we cannot control much about the coronavirus. As a result, people are responding in a different way. Mirgain calls it tend and befriend. Instead of running, people are helping each other. Mirgain says this can spread hope and well-being. People in Washington, D.C. are trying to help. Residents of an apartment building put up signs. They were offering help to high-risk neighbors. The virus is more dangerous for high-risk groups like the elderly. Kitson Jasnika volunteers at Children's National Hospital. Volunteers cannot visit the hospital because of the virus. Jasnika decided to record herself reading for the kids. Better started her mini concerts in mid-March. She is part of a group called A Musical Heart. The group provides music for seriously ill patients. Music for Neighbors Better says music helps anyone in need. She hopes her music will help her neighbors feel less alone. Only about 12 people watched Better play on March 24th. 
Still, neighbors appreciate her music. Lee Hicks and her children watched better from across the street. Hicks said it was kind of better to play music during a stressful time. The audience thanked Better for her music. It was like she had given them a gift. Better waved at them from her porch. She said that music is what she has to give. How was that story for you? Any new vocabulary? Put any questions, comments, new vocabulary into the comments under the video. Let me know which vocabulary was especially difficult or interesting for you. As always, students, reread, listen again until that new vocabulary becomes more fixed in your mind. Until next time, bye.